Hello everybody. I start all of my videos off saying hello everybody and I've only been saying that because just coincidentally in like my first three videos that I ever posted I started them off with hello everybody. So now I've just been saying it for every video but I've never liked it. I just don't think the phrase hello everybody sounds good. Like it doesn't have a good flow to it and so I really want something else and I was thinking about it last night and I'm thinking I could say hi poopies. That is a really good option or Hi poopies is all I got. But, welcome back to channel. And if you're new, if you've never seen one of my vids, then welcome for the first time. Oh, I have news. I actually vlogged almost the entire last week. I was editing it last night and I realized it is the worst vlog I've ever made. It is so bad. It was just really boring and I cannot post it. I cannot put it on the internet. But I think the issue with it was that there is no like theme to it. But this video, I'm determined to make it better. But this video is going to be week of homework at University of Oregon because it's not that I necessarily am so excited to make a week of homework video, but it's more that I am just in need of a theme and I know that I'm gonna need to do a lot of homework this week and then maybe I'll get some random stuff in between. Who knows? Maybe it'll just be homework. Who knows? But today is actually perfect day to start this video because even though it's Sunday and I usually start my week videos on a Monday, I am going to be doing lots of homework today. I'm just at this random grass area on campus with a blanket. It's actually really pretty. Super nice day today. And to start off with the video, I'll just give a quick rundown of all my classes. Even though I talked about that in my first week of spring term video, which only true fans would know about. I guess I'll pull up my duck web, my schedule. I feel like you guys can barely see this, but I'm just gonna give a quick rundown of my classes. Tuesday and Thursday, I have two journalism classes because I'm exploring the advertising major, which is through the School of Journalism. So I have J201, the mornings of Tuesday and Thursday, and then in the afternoon, J100. And then on Mondays, even though it says writing 122 right there, I actually don't have it that day, I have Spanish and weightlifting in the afternoon. And then Wednesdays, I have writing 122, Spanish and weightlifting. And then on Fridays, even though it says Spanish there, I actually only have writing 122. So I'm taking five classes, but one of them is only one credit. It's the weightlifting class, so I wouldn't really consider that a full class. I guess even though it is, saying five classes I feel like is misleading. I'm taking writing 122 just because that's required to graduate, and then Spanish 301 because I am planning to minor in Spanish. Right now, I need to work on a short essay for my J100 class, and pretty much what that class is, is it's like the very beginning class for anyone majoring in something that's through the School of Journalism, and every class there's a guest speaker, and each guest speaker special and like a different career field within journalism and then they just talk about their career and students can ask questions and so it's a really easy class I think it's just like a way for students to learn about all the different paths they can take with journalism and so far I thought it's pretty interesting but I need to write a short essay about that where I just research about one of the guest speakers coming up and that is due on Tuesday so I'm gonna get that done today Hello y'all. So I just finished the short essay. It was actually only supposed to be a page and a half or at least a page and a half. So I guess I actually didn't do anything crazy. But mine ended up being two and a half pages. But here it is, digital research assignment number one. And I will submit it now. Submit assignment. Oh, what? When you submit an assignment on Canvas on your phone, little confetti comes down. But that didn't happen here. So sad. But now, I'm going to work on some Spanish homework. A couple weeks ago, we were split up into groups of about three to four. And each group is assigned a different Spanish-speaking community. And then we have to create like a 20 minute presentation about the communities. And my group's presentation isn't due yet because each group has a different due date. But group two just put their presentation up on Canvas and I have to respond to it in like 150 words. Very simple and easy. And then after that, I just have to add to a discussion post. And I think I have something else in Spanish. Oh yes. Since we have class tomorrow, we have readings assigned before every class and then take notes on. But here's where I am. So that direction is like to the center of campus and then there's the end of campus and then there's just random buildings and this pretty little field that I'm on. It's actually really small and people probably think I'm weird when they walk by.
Hello y'all. So I finished all of my Spanish homework and wow, I'm being so productive. I did not think I would get this much done. Well, actually, I feel like I actually haven't gotten that much done, but whatever. Usually I get tired very quickly. Now I'm gonna go back to my dorm because even though I've really been enjoying it outside, all of my electronics are overheating and I am also overheating. That's actually a metaphor that electronics and humans are the same. Uh, what? But I'm gonna go back to my dorm. Even my chapstick was melting. I barely even touched it to my lips and so much came off. It looks like lip gloss. There's a cool ladybug on my finger earlier. And actually, I'm gonna try new transitions. Instead of going like this, which I usually do, I might start trying those like TikTok transitions where you like fan the camera so it's like this. Here it is. Did that work? But actually, I probably won't do that. I'll see y'all later. Hello, y'all. So back in my room. And also, I feel like I look tanner. I don't know. I spent like all of yesterday afternoon and lots of today outside. And I don't know. Maybe I'm just sweaty. <laughs> Does that affect it? But anyways, I have something to show you guys. So there's something in the dining halls here called skillet scramble. And it's just like scrambled eggs and you can add different toppings inside. And then it comes with these like potato wedges. And it's so good. I had it a lot fall term. But then I got really tired of it and I also realized it wasn't even that good. And then I got it again for the first time a couple weeks ago for spring term. And they changed it because it's so good now. Or maybe it's just the different toppings that I get. But I get scrambled eggs with green onions, cheese, spinach, and vegan sausage, and I think it's the vegan sausage that really does it. It is so delicious. And then also the potatoes are bomb. So I'm gonna try this on camera. That is so good. If I got this at a restaurant and paid lots of money for it, I'd be satisfied. Right now it's five o'clock. I work from six to eight tonight. It's a really short shift, but I think I'm done doing homework until after work, but I will see you guys later. I don't know what transition to do. I'll just do random cut, like right now. Hey y'all. Um. Hello. I just got off work and I also just picked up myself a burrito and so I'm gonna eat this burrito for dinner and then I'm gonna work on some homework. It's only nine o'clock so I still got some time. So for my writing class, Writing 122, we are starting to work on an essay and it's just like a very rough draft is due tomorrow morning and I actually haven't started it but it's only supposed to be like 500 words and so I'm gonna work on that. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Pshew, pshew. Hello y'all, it's the next day. It's about 11 a.m. and I have to go quick because I have the first class of the day, Spanish, in like one minute. The teacher just usually gives some short lectures in that class, then we split into breakout rooms and we discuss the reading that was assigned. But I have the class in one minute. It's a beautiful day outside. Look at how pretty it is. So beautiful. And also, my lucky, my lucky, <laughs> my roommate and I got so lucky with a really beautiful view from our window. A field right there, some other residence halls, there's a sidewalk. I love to watch people walk by and throw my poop at them. Uh, oh, hello. I just got back from weightlifting, changed back into my regular clothes. Today I have brown shirt, black shorts. I am going to go somewhere into one of the buildings on campus where classes usually are and just use one of the rooms as a little study homework area because I'm tired of doing all my homework at my desk. So I'll see you guys when I get to the area. Uh, Ooh. Hello y'all. I am in the building that I was talking about. I'm in this office. There's the view, it's on the third story. So crazy. And there are signs that say if you're working alone in a room or office, you don't have to wear your mask. So I hope I'm fine. I'm in the room alone. I will just be working on my J201 class. That class is about like how media and society are related. And also, do you guys see this pimple? I also had one there, but I popped it. I just have to take some notes on some reading and then watch a lecture. So I'll probably start a time lapse. Hello y'all, I have crazy news. I am currently rushing, oh wait, I'm done rushing. A couple weeks ago, I was rushing a co-ed fraternity called AK Psy. I got past the rush process, and I guess before I am an official member, I have to go through a pledge process, which is what I'm in right now. And it's going on for like another month or two. We have a lot of meetings like in the next couple of weeks and stuff, and I have a meeting for it in like five minutes. And today I'm finding out who my big is, which is crazy. I hope it's someone that I easily click with, but we'll see, I have my meeting soon. So excited. But I'm so scared to find out my big. And also, look at the view outside. I already showed you guys earlier, but it's so pretty. Love this little work area. We'll definitely be coming back here. Ow! 
I banged my foot against something. I don't know what it is. I'll see you guys after the meeting probably. Hello y'all. So just got out of my frat meeting and I found out who my big is. His name is Akoda, I think. <laughs> I already forgot his name. I only got to talk to them for like 15 minutes. I guess that's kind of a long time. Maybe it was like 10 minutes, but they seem cool. Don't really know too much about them. I was so nervous before they announced everyone's bigs. My heart was beating so fast and I was shaking my leg. I think I'm gonna leave this little office area and then I'm gonna go back to my dorm, eat some food. And then I think I'm done with homework today. I really didn't do much today, but I'm pooped. I just don't have any motivation to do homework anymore. So I'm gonna go back, eat some food, maybe watch some Wizards of Waverly Place because I'm rewatching that right now and it's so good. It's weird because even though I'm only like eight episodes into the first season, I like remember every single episode even though I haven't watched it in like six years. But that show is so good. When people tell me that they didn't watch Wizards of Waverly Place as a kid, did you guys hear that? So, probably see you guys tomorrow, honestly, because then I work 8 to 11 tonight, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, y'all. So, it's the next day. Also, I popped the pimple, because it was ready last night, but it's very red today, but just don't look at it. It's already like 2 o'clock, I think. So, I had my J201 lecture earlier this morning at 8 a.m., so I didn't even go to it, so I'm just gonna watch the lecture recording later today, and then a little bit after that, I had my J100 lecture, and then I just had to write a short reflection on what the guest speaker was talking about. Also, I am currently working at one of the dining halls on campus this year. Even though I love the people that I work with, it's not the most desirable job to have. And honestly, the biggest reason why I don't want to work there next year is because you have to wear hats, and I think hats are just the most uncomfortable thing. I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I just hate wearing hats. But it's part of the uniform, so we have to wear these hats that they give us. But I'm looking for somewhere else that doesn't require hats. So I applied to Whole Foods here in Eugene, and I think that'd be kind of cool. I love the vibes of Whole Foods. And now I am also applying to the rec center here at University of Oregon. That's my first choice. And then Whole Foods is like the backup. I don't know if I'm going to get it though because it seems very selective. And I have to answer three questions, each of them being around 500 words. So I'm writing so much. This is just what I wrote for the first question. This is taking forever. But I do really want to work there next year. And then I'm going to work on some homework later. And then I also have work tonight. So I'll see y'all later. I don't know what transition I should do. I'll cover the camera with my donut. I don't want to touch it to the lens. I'll just eat it. Hello, y'all. So, this isn't homework related, but look at what I have. This orange chocolate that my sister gave me. So, shout out to Sister Brittany. But I have this chocolate and I'm gonna eat on camera because I completely forgot about these, but I love them. And it comes in this little box. And then inside is this ball of chocolate and it's shaped just like an orange. And it has slices. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Here's a little ball and there's a bunch of slices in it and they're like slightly connected You kind of have to like bang it against the table sometimes. So that's just part of the experience and they're so good uh, I love these uh, uh, uh. and it even has like the texture of an orange. So it's healthy fruit Mmm, it's so good Delicious. But anyways, I finished applying to the rec center, but now for the fraternity that I'm joining, I have to email 12 already existing members. And I just have to have like little short interviews with them over Zoom. And I get to choose which ones I want to talk to out of a list that were provided. So I'm excited for that. And my sister, actually my sister, she's getting her master's degree this year at UO as well. She was in this fraternity last year. And so she sent me a list of people that I should message. So I have the inside scoop. And then after that, I have to work on my Spanish presentation a little more. I think I talked about that earlier. I can't even remember. I haven't edited any of this video, and I've just been talking for so long. But I hope I talked about it. Otherwise, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm just working on a Spanish presentation that's due on Friday. And then I have to watch the J201 lecture that I missed earlier this morning. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I don't want to do any homework today. <laughs> I was very motivated the first day on Sunday. But now it's Tuesday, and I'm already pooped. Pshew, pshew. Hello y'all, it's about seven o'clock now. I'm going to work and if you think I got any homework done, then you're completely wrong. I watched some Wizards of Waverly Place and also I edited some of this video. So not very productive day, but it's very pretty outside, look. So pretty outside. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Pew, pew. Hello y'all, but here are the plans for today. Didn't really get much homework done at all yesterday, but I just got out of my English and Spanish class and then I have weightlifting soon. Already in my weightlifting attire. This is weightlifting attire. And I'll see you guys after, cause I really gotta grind on homework that is due on Friday. I have an essay I haven't started yet, but I, I, but I think everything is fine. So see you guys after my PE class. Uh, oh.
Ooh, hello everyone, big exciting news. You know how I applied to work at the rec next year? I just got an email back saying that I got an interview and I'm so excited. So I have to schedule an interview time. I'm gonna do next Wednesday the 28th, 2.40 to 3 p.m. This is so exciting. And then also earlier I had my COVID test and then also I had my required one-on-one -on -one meeting with my RA. And then I am going to work on my J201 class. I have to write an essay for that which is due on Friday. And for that, I have to write about a piece of technology that's like currently being made and then how I think that's going to affect society. And then I have to just apply lessons from class into the essay. But it's only supposed to be like about a thousand words. So I don't think it'll be too difficult. So I'm gonna work on that and then also work more on my Spanish presentation. So that'll take me all day. So I will see you guys probably tonight. I'll see you soon. Hello y'all. It's a lot later in the night. I took a nap earlier and I didn't start homework as soon as I wanted. But it was just so hard for me to find motivation and I was also so tired until I took my nap. But I finished making an outline and finding sources for my research paper for J201, which I'm happy about. And then I also was trying to finish my Spanish presentation and do some final research for it. But I was having so much trouble finding the information that I was looking for. So unfortunately I didn't finish that, but I'm gonna resume it tomorrow. I feel very very exhausted even though I feel like I didn't really do much today school work wise and so then that like kind of makes me feel bad about myself because I'm like why do I feel exhausted when I like didn't even do that much but I don't know I feel like I feel like this a lot does anyone feel like they aren't really doing much yet they are just very pooped but then it just makes them feel worse that they do feel pooped when they didn't do very much but tomorrow's a new day and that means new opportunities to work on my homework. <laughs> so excited. I just wanna go to bed. I just feel pooped. That's the only word I have. <laughs> I need to work on learning new adjectives. Tomorrow morning, I have my 8 a.m. J201 class, but this time I'm actually gonna try to wake up for it. So I'll see y'all then. Hello, y'all. Just got out of bed. I'm in my J201 class. So surprised I actually woke up for this. And we're doing a kahoot. Just answer the first question and got it wrong. <laughs> I'm in 24th place. We still got time to catch up. Oh, I think I got this one right. Ooh, correct. But this is my class. There's my game and there's the board. So having so much fun in kahoot. But I'll see y'all later. Hello, y'all. It's a little bit later in the afternoon. 2.30 p.m. But I finished my J201 class and I actually stayed awake during the whole thing, surprisingly. And then I slept for a little bit longer, got ready, ate a skillet scramble, attended my J100 class, wrote a reflection about that, and then I just finished working on my Spanish presentation, which I'm so happy about. And then I didn't even realize this, I thought it was next week, but I just got a reminder on my computer that one of the informational interviews for the frat that I'm joining, or I have to interview current members, is in like three minutes. So I just thought of some quick questions to ask them, and I'll see you guys after. Hello, y'all. I just finished the interview. It was really fun. I had a mix of silly and serious questions, like if you could have just like a lower class home, but renovate and need two rooms in it to be super nice, what would the two rooms be? And if you had the ability to use your hands like scissors, or a knife, or a gun, or a flashlight, and like the abilities actually work, which one would it be? And those are my original questions that I thought of on my own, so I'm pretty proud of those. But then I also asked some more serious ones, like what's your favorite part about being an AK Psy? And what advice do you have for me? So I think the interview went really well, and I'm excited for the other 11 that I have to do. But anyways, I am going to practice my Spanish presentation because my group and I are recording that over Zoom in a couple of hours, and then I'm also going to work on my essay for J201. And then I'll probably see you guys late tonight because that's just what I'm gonna be working on for a while. And then I also work tonight, 7.30 to 10.30. So I'll see y'all later. Hello. You're probably wondering why it's so dark. Um, hello. I do not remember that at all, and I think that I got possessed. It's nighttime. Got back from work a while ago, but I've just been watching TikTok for forever. I recorded the presentation with my group. Went very well. I spoke so fluently. 
And I actually have like a test for my frat tomorrow. We are being quizzed on like the history of the frat and stuff. And then still have made not that much progress in my essay. But I'm just gonna spend the whole day doing that tomorrow. And whatever. If I do bad on it, then that sucks. <laughs> So I will see y'all to my room. That was low-key good. To my room, to my room, to my room. That was so good. That has same vibes as Somewhere Over the Rainbow, does it not? Because that's what I think of. Hello, y'all. So crazy things. It's actually two days after what y'all watched. It's Saturday, not Friday. But yesterday, I was working a lot on my essay, and about halfway through finishing it, my teacher made an announcement on Canvas that he's giving us a 24 hour extension. And so I was so excited. I stopped working on it, and then I've been working on it a lot today. It's 8 p.m., and I'm about 30 words away from finishing it. And I actually think it's turning out pretty well. I have a lot of good sources, and I make a lot of good points, I think. So I I hope I do well on it. I am a little bit nervous, but I don't think I'll do too horribly on it. But I'm gonna submit it soon, and then I just wanted to end the video here. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was fun watching me do all my homework throughout the week. I actually don't see how that's fun. I got a lot done, successfully got through the week. I did all my assignments. I'm proud of myself. We had some ups and downs, but we got through it. And I really enjoy making these like weekly videos where I like pick a topic and then I just vlog the whole week. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope it was enjoyable, maybe interesting. So thanks for watching, Shardies, and I will see you in the next video.